The Minister of Education and Sports, Janet Kataha Museveni, through the State Minister for Primary Health Care, Moriku Joyce Kaduchu, released stringent instructions to students and staff at Gulu University against the continuous strikes at the university. Kaduchu passed on the instructions at the 14th graduation ceremony where 1,548 students graduated. The government continues to improve the welfare of staff as well as the quality of learning and teaching. Government also expects that the staff will be more disciplined and ethically committed to their work to realize value for money. I therefore appeal to staff and students to avoid solving problems through agitation and strikes. The ministry notes that all aspects of life are disrupted when students and all staff strike. It is not acceptable in this current era, more so in institutions of intellectual strikes are disruptive of socioeconomic life and the smooth delivery of academic programs Strikes put unnecessary pressure on all stakeholders in the post-strike period. Students, parents, staff, and university management all do suffer greatly to, the, to compensate for the time lost. The ministry cited that due to the increasing strikes at the campus, the number of foreign students has gone down. Strikes have gradually reduce the number of foreign students and staff that used to enroll in our universities. Staff and students should therefore resolve conflicts as learned people and in a professional manner. The Chancellor Gulu University, Frederick Bayanja, urges staff to improve on the discipline at the institution. Jojo Penduru, alas, we are the Oliver Twist of all. We expect more. Graduates were asked to be job creators instead of job seekers in competitive job markets. And it's my sincere belief that for all the time you have been with us, you were able to learn some life and survival skills. Some of this you learn through interaction with your friends and your staff. Some of this you learn through Certainly, we are all aware that jobs are hard to come by. I would earnestly encourage that you try to be your own job creators than job seekers. Despite the high statistics of unemployment in the country, the jubilant graduates are optimistic that the jobs will be available given their experience. I'm a farmer. I'm actually a vegetable farmer. Then, uh, I'm growing my tomatoes, my cabbages, and I'm really fine with that. And you know, given my profession, as soon as you get out, the job is there. I did a bachelor's degree in science, computer science. I am so optimistic about the future because I believe as a youth, I don't need to be complaining about the lack of jobs and so on, but I need to be innovative on my own. As of now, I'm already working. These days, there are a lot of programs that come along and projects, and you'll need at least to have this skill of how to run a project. With the high rates of unemployment, you realize that very many youth are engaging into projects and they do not even know how to manage this project. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Education and Sports pledged to establish a constituent college in Moroto District that will be a branch of Gulu University, just like Lira University. Report by Joseph Omagol for New Vision TV. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy of Gulu University. Gracias.